Hi everyone, Kim Hughes here with the Plano Parks Department. I'm the supervisor for the Natural Resources District. One of the things that I love most about my job is I get to spend a lot of time outdoors in the natural environment. Right now, spring is definitely in the air. The grass is growing, the flowers are blooming, the bees are buzzing, and birds are active everywhere. So I'm excited to be here with you today to talk about some of the birds that you might be seeing out as you're walking on the natural trails or the concrete trails, or as you're strolling through the park, or as you're relaxing in your own backyard. The birds we'll be talking about today are songbirds. The first group are resident birds that are here all year long, ones that you may be familiar with, ones that become more obvious in the spring because the male's colors get darker and more vibrant and because they're more active. The other group will be some migrants that come in from flying as uh, far south as Mexico and South America to come to our part of the country to breed. The first bird we'll look at is the American Robin. The image of a robin pulling a worm out of the ground is one of the classic signs associated with spring. It's a very familiar songbird. It's about seven to 10 inches long and it's got a gray brown back and sides and a darker head. It's got a warm orange, rusty colored underpart and a yellow beak. The next bird on the list is the blue jay. It's a very colorful, intelligent bird, very common to the area. It's got blue above and white below with a prominent blue crest and a black necklace. Its blue wings and tail are barred by black and it's got a very prominent white wing bar. The next bird you see here is the Northern Cardinal. What more needs to be said to identify this songbird than it's a brilliant shade of red that you just cannot take your eyes off of. The male has vivid red feathers, a short, thick red beak, and a black mask and throat. Here we see the Carolina Chickadee. It's a small bird, about four inches, with a black cap and bib, and separated by stark white cheeks. The back, wings, and tail are soft gray. It likes forested areas, or urban and suburban yards or parks with large trees. These next three birds that you'll look at are migrants that have come up from South America and Mexico to breed here in our area. This first bird, the painted bunting, is one of the most colorful birds you'll ever see in this area. The males are unbelievably breathtaking with stunningly colored blue heads, red underparts, and green backs. The females and the younger birds are a distinctive bright green. They're small, about five inches long. Next, if you've seen a bird perched on an electrical line with a two-pronged tail that seems twice as long as its body, you're almost positively looking at a scissor-tailed flycatcher. These are pale gray birds with blackish wings and black tails with white edges. Adults have a salmon peak flank that extend to its underwings. They're very, very agile in the air, using their long tails to make abrupt turns and stalls. The last bird is the cliff swallow. Cliff swallows have a metallic, dark blue back and a pale pumpkin colored rump. They have rich brick red faces with a bright white forehead patch. The easiest way to see this bird is to locate a nesting colony. You can often see the birds swarming alongside bridges and overpasses where they build their mud nests on vertical walls. There are several places that these birds nest here in the city of Plano Parks. Well, that about wraps it up. I hope you've learned something here today. I hope the next time that you're out in the parks or you're in your backyard, that you see a bird that you've learned to identify here on our video. So have a great spring and happy birding.